Hey there guys, I want to welcome you to the last live stream I'm going to be doing this week. Um, this one is going to be, it's going to be connected like with the other live streams. And it's going to sort of relay it in a lot of ways. Um, so again, I want to thank you guys. Um, if you have any questions about anything, you can feel free to always contact me, message me, direct message me. I'm always available whenever you need me. Um, whether you're a client or not so um again with these live streams i want to give you much as much value as i can and sort of share with you information that you may not know as it relates to fitness and health um and that's what i'm really excited about with sharing some of this information with you guys is that you'll be able to learn something new that you may not know and i really enjoy sharing this I think that um, a lot of things related to fitness are very interesting and um, I get so much enjoyment out of it because I like to learn new stuff and even though I know a lot of this stuff and I you know, learned it as I was becoming certified as a trainer, I still get enjoyment at looking at it again because it's such interesting stuff to know if you've not been aware of it and especially if you're into fitness but you don't know a lot of things that go to play into you know muscles and the human body and things of that nature so um i want to dive into this today uh again it's going to be related to sort of the past couple of streams i've done this week today we're going to talk about muscle actions so um muscle actions is um it's pretty simple to understand um Basically, what we're talking about today is sort of explaining the different type of, you know, actions as it relates to certain muscle movements. Um, so there's various categories that we're going to go into today. And I'm going to sum them up a little bit easy so it's not... Because I'm going to give you a lot of pretty large terms today. But I'm going to try to simplify it in a way where you can understand it. Some of these can be sort of hard to understand because they have similar names. So basically, there's various categories as it relates to muscle actions. And some of these terms are known as isotonic, isometric, isokinetic. And there's also a subset category of muscle actions known as eccentric and concentric. These two are my favorite ones to discuss. And these or ones that it was hard for me to fully learn exactly what they do. Um, but I'm excited to really discuss eccentric and concentric because I learned a lot from, you know, just knowing these terms. Um, these first three are a little bit hard to understand in a sense. Um, but really, once you sort of get deeper into it, you'll understand basically what these terms mean. Um, so we're going to start out with the three main terms that relate to muscle actions, and these are known as isotonic, isometric, and isokinetic. And these will kind of play back into each other with the eccentric and concentric. These are all, you know, sort of in the same group. So what we're going to break this down, so I kind of have it broken down here. So eccentric and concentric sort of connect all together with isometric, isokinetic, and isotonic. So these all terms, as I mentioned, they all connect in one form. Um, and I kind of have it broken down here, but the main, the subset category is really what defines these terms all together. Okay, so what we're going to talk about is isotonic. So basically what isotonic is, is force is produced within the muscle and tension is developed. And this movement occurs in a given range of motion. So basically isotonic muscle actions are known as either eccentric or concentric like I mentioned and they can represent the lowering and lifting phase as it relates to resistance training. So for example if you do a bicep curl the main bicep brachii will contract this muscle will contract concentrically so i'll go into more detail as to what concentric means but basically it's going to contract concentrically which means it's going to shorten to flex the elbow 
and then you know when you're curling with the dumbbell up the shoulder itself is going to con contract eccentrically while the elbow extends and it lowers the dumbbell back down so so it's basically sort of describing a muscle action so when you're doing a bicep curl you got one muscle that's going to eccentrically contract and then one that's going to concentrically contract so and i'm going to get into the eccentric and concentric you'll sort of understand the difference between the two as we get through it so this is basically sums up what isotonic means okay so we have isometric um this is basically when muscle tension is changed in the muscle length but doesn't show visible movement of the limbs so it's basically a muscle a muscle action that doesn't show you don't see the limbs are moving so it probably best that i sort of explain what isometric is because it kind of sounds confusing so basically what isometric isometric is is basically when you have a force that contracts with a resistive force and then you have no visible change in that muscle so when you're doing like let's say for example if you're doing like a plank exercise your it's going to require isometric contraction of the muscle so basically it's going to cause it's going to require a contraction of the core muscles and so the muscles of the core are going to activate so you know like like when you're doing like any crunches or anything when you're sort of exercising the core you're not really going to see any visual visual or visible movement of the limbs when you're contracting those muscles like the abs you're not really going to see that but you're going to be working that muscle so that's basically sort of describes what an isometric contraction is is even though you're moving you're doing muscle movement like for like for the abs you're not going to see a actual visible movement of the limb there for the abs because it's it's not like your you know like your bicep or your tricep it doesn't move in a free way as you know like with your abs because your abs are just in a you know they just don't move in that way as a human you know for the human body so that's basically what it is with isometric is you know, you're not seeing visible movement of the limbs even though you're working it. All right, so isokinetic. So this one may be a little bit hard to understand, but again, I'm going to try to break it down the best way that I can because these are pretty important to sort of know because it can help break down exercises. You know, it can help sort of break down each exercise in a certain phase to where you can understand, you know, sort of, where exercise starts and where it stops. So isokinetic. So I have it summed up basically on here on screen as having a fixed speed of movement. So basically with an isokinetic muscle action, it means the muscle shortens at a constant speed over a full range of motion. So in other words, it's basically the hurt an individual an individual person either pushes or pulls the more resistance they're likely to feel during like a full isokinetic contraction or muscle movement but um the tension in the muscle is at its maximum throughout the whole range of motion so this one is a little bit harder to sort of explain in a way to where it's easy for you to understand but let me sort of go back through my notes here. So basically in an isokinetic muscle action, you have the amount of force is generated by the muscle and then adjusts to the resistance or load. So that no matter how much the muscle tension is produced, the movement speed is going to remain constant. So it's sort of basically no matter what action you're doing, the movement speed is remaining at a constant, you know, just at a fixed speed. And that basically sums up an isokinetic muscle action. Alrighty, so we're going to go 
this is going to help understand these other terms, like the, the terms we just previously discussed. Going through this subset category here is going to really help you understand these other terms because they can be hard to understand. Um, so I'm excited to talk about these because I, I think this is interesting to know. Um, so as I mentioned, eccentric and concentric. So these are two major muscle actions that are separated into a subcategory from the other, other muscle actions. And these two, as I said, are known as eccentric and concentric movement. So eccentric is basically when a muscle gains tension while lengthening. So I can give you a great example of this. So like we discussed before with the bicep curl. So basically the eccentric muscle action is when you are lengthening that muscle. So you're the, basically the external force is acting on the muscle and it's greater than the internal muscle force. So, you know, this is the first initial action of an exercise. So you're lengthening that muscle. You're lengthening, so whatever movement you're doing, when you start a movement, that's basically the eccentric action that you're doing. So, let's see, I'm going to go through my notes here. So, basically, this can relate to daily movement, as well as even like sports or anything of that sort. So basically these m muscles can work eccentrically as much as they do concentrically. So eccentrically muscles decelerate to reduce forces acted on the body. And this can be seen in all forms of exercise, whether you're walking, you're bench pressing, any sort of exercise you can see this happen. And it's basically to sum it up really simple is it's, it's just the first, you know, action that you're doing with a muscle. You know, it's the first starting, the lengthening is the eccentric action of the muscle. All right, so let's go to the next part of this. And this is going to be concentric. So concentric is basically the exact opposite of eccentric. So concentric is when the muscle is shortened. So the way that I like to think about this is this just the end action of an exercise. So basically to sum it up, so it's basically, it results in a visible shortening of the muscle. So a concentric muscle action is basically, so, in an, so for example, okay, let's say you're jumping upward and lifting, okay, so <laughs> let me go back. It's not that hard. It's just me trying to describe it in a way to where you can understand it. So basically, this is, this is the end, as I said, this is basically the end muscle action. So you're, this is shortening the muscle from the contractile force. So this is the end muscle action when you're, you know, when you're doing the exercise, this is the, you know, the most, when you're putting the most force, when you're putting the most force on an action. That's basically what a concentric muscle action is. I hope I didn't confuse you guys with all these terms, but there, once you understand what they do and what each term means, it's interesting. And you can sort of be aware, like when you're doing an exercise, okay, this is an eccentric muscle action. And then this is a concentric muscle action, or this is an isotonic, isokinetic, isometric muscle action. So it's kind of cool to know that, you know, this is what this action is, you know, when I'm doing this exercise. So I really hope that I didn't confuse you guys with all these terms, but they're really cool to know. Alrighty, so that's basically the end of my presentation for today. Um... Again, I hope I didn't confuse you guys because I feel like that was a lot of stuff to sort of discuss that you may not know. Um, but I will be, this will be the last um, live stream that I'm doing this week. Um, I'm going to probably, since this is getting towards the end of my promotional event, the 14 Days Summer Shred Challenge, what I'm likely going to do is I won't be doing live streams three days a week this next week. 
but I'm going to um, basically do at least one live stream a week, probably talking about various topics and maybe have some where I can engage with you guys more. Um, it's kind of hard for me to engage because I'm trying to show a presentation and then, you know, I'm not able to actually look at uh, any comments that you're posting in real time because, you know, I'm looking at notes and then trying to explain this at the same time. Um, but I really hope that um, I can really do more where I can get, you know, engage with you guys more and sort of answer your questions in real time. That's what I really want to do as I'm going through these. And um, probably with the next live streams, I want to talk about, um, I don't have them yet planned out for, you know, exactly what I'm going to do. But I think with the next live streams, I want to talk about sort of more about exercises. Whereas these are more educational and you're sort of understanding different things about muscles that you may not know. What I really want to go into detail more beyond this is to do more of specific exercises that are targeting specific muscles and things of that sort. That's probably what I'm going to do for my next live streams. Again, I may do them once a week, maybe more, depending, but I'll definitely let you guys know um, what I'm going to be doing. And the group, this group page that you're seeing, uh, likely watching this live stream through, I'm going to continue to keep this group page going even after I end this promotional event. So I really still, regardless if, you know, the 14 day struggle shred ends, when it ends, I still want to keep building this community and really continue to give you guys value. And, you know, that's my focus is I really, I don't want this to be about selling you guys, you know, fully selling you guys something or, you know, trying to force something down your throat. I want to give you guys some of the information that I know, you know, as it relates to fitness. Um, because I not only, you know, it's good information to have, but I enjoy, I enjoy definitely explaining it because it's interesting stuff and it's definitely stuff that's going to, you know, help you understand, you know, your body in certain ways. And that's what I think is really important. I think we should all be aware of, you know, our health. I think, um, knowing this stuff is really important, you know, in our day to day lives. Um, so that's what I really want to do with all this. I don't want to just sell you something. I want to give you something that you can take with you that, you, you know, you can think about and ponder about in the day. And especially when you're exercising, you like what we discussed today, you're going to be able to sort of know what muscle action you're doing. And I think that's important. I think it's, it's, it's something that we should know, you know, especially with exercise. Um, so that's the end of this live stream. Again, I've put my contact information on screen. I fixed it from last time since I didn't have it. Um, but I've got my email on screen and then my phone number. You can text or call that number. Um, I'm always available. Usually I'll get it. Um, sometimes I don't message back or right away, but I usually do get back to as many people as I can. Um, you can also direct message me through Facebook or Instagram or anything of that sort. I usually look at those too. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Uh, I'll definitely let you guys know what I have next. Um, any live streams that I do next, I will likely post in the group or I'll post it on my main Facebook page. Um, and this video is also going to go on YouTube. So if you didn't watch it in, you know, in real time live, um, I will be uploading it there so you can watch it. So thank you guys. And I hope you found some value with this today. And I look forward to making some new live streams and be able to give you guys some more information. So thank you guys.